Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you are doing well. I haven't seen you in forever. I feel like um, it's really nice to be back here. So today I'm going to work in my Hobonichi Techo. I met up with the very, very talented Courtney Diaz and I wanted to document it in my Hobonichi Techo. And I'm going to start off with some watercolors that I purchased from Connie. She has an Etsy Etsy shop called Peppercorn Arts and I will of course leave all the information down below. Uh, she had these uh, neon, I guess, um, I don't know what they're called, the, the paint dots. They're like a sampler and uh, she had them available in her shop and I had to try them out. Uh, I showed you my pages a little bit earlier. I did a, a swatch that, uh, yeah, that I showed a little earlier so I wanted to use uh, these neon paints uh, because when I think of Courtney I think of bright colors and uh, of course pink. So now that I'm letting the paint dry on the side there I decided to work on the Hobonichi Techo challenge. Uh, you can find the hashtag on Instagram as well as in the Hobonichi Techo group on Facebook. We do a uh, myself and some other uh, wonderful planner a Hobonichi planner enthusiasts we uh, do a monthly challenge and like we send out these monthly prompts and this month uh, that I'm working on we did flowers so you see me drawing uh, trying to draw some flowers and trying to work on the Hobonichi challenge this month actually I'm, we're in, I'm filming this in May but for May I decided to instead of draw the objects I've decided to um, write the word in Japanese just so that I can help it helps me with my Japanese studies but anyway so there's one of the drawings of the flowers and then this is the other one here that I'm doing on the upper left hand corner of the page so with the Hobonichi challenge and uh, drawing or doodling in general I try my best to uh, doodle or draw by memory but obviously some of these flowers I, I just I don't know very well so I'm using uh, Google, of course Google, to help me with the drawing challenge. I don't know if you uh, refer to books or photos online uh, to help with your drawings um, and I think that's totally okay to do. Uh, it's yeah it's a it's a fun learning experience and here I'm just outlining the uh, Little Raven ink and I really really like to outline my letters once the paint is dry. I just feel like the title or the words kind of pop off from the page so I really do enjoy outlining and it's just a really soothing experience for me. I know it's not perfect but um, it's I just really enjoy outlining. So now I'm going to add a bit of blue on the corner there I just felt like the page needed a little bit more color so I just added some blue from the paint dot card I'm sorry I don't know the correct terminology um, but uh, yeah and then on the bottom I'm just going to add a bit of washi tape just to add a pop of color and um, yeah I like to do that often I just like to add some washi tape on the borders and let's see what I'm doing here I'm not too sure I'm just sticking down some um, an old photo of my daughter. Now I grab a jelly, what is it called, a jelly roll, <laughs> jelly roll pen, um, and it's in like a neon pink color. And I'm just outlining the the left hand side of the letters, just to add a bit of pop to the to the lettering. And I think I. I'm not too sure what I'm doing here or what I'm I, what I'm saying, but anyways, now I'm going to add the photos in. I really like these. Um, I don't know what they're called. I keep forgetting to do my research, but you can print these photos using an app, and uh, they're they come in different various sizes. But I really like uh, this this specific one because. You know, it's not too big. It's perfect for the A6, I feel. The quality is not bad, um, but I can't really compare it to the other pocket printers. You just print this uh, directly from your phone, directly to your printer at home. And um, 
yeah, I just, I wish I purchased a little bit more of these sheets. I didn't save the packaging, so I don't really remember what they're called. Uh, but I do, or I did enjoy them. I really enjoyed using them. I'm going to have to do my research to see if I can locate some more. But I'm just adding a border around the photos. Um, some of the photos I took are from Instagram, I believe. And uh, I just added a, like the, uh, a border around the photos using the same gel pen and just um, drew some hearts and things and now I'm just adding a bit of color here and there. I tend to use paint and then use the excess paint on the opposite side of the page or sometimes I use the excess paint in like a different journal. I don't know if you do the same thing or not but um, sometimes if I feel like there's a lot of paint left I'll kind of dab it on the other side. So Courtney and I met up in an area called Shimokitazawa and we had, uh, I guess it was like a brunch or lunch and uh, this place had really cute cafe, like a latte art and so we had a really really lovely time. I'm just so thankful that uh, I was able to meet up with her. I know she had a really packed and busy schedule, like she was non-stop going so I'm really really appreciative that I was able to meet up with her. Uh, I don't know if you can see the photo there, maybe I'll do like a close-up right now uh, of her beautiful drawing, oh my goodness. Um, in my most recent video, the Traveler's Notebook Journal flip-through video, there's a close-up of her drawing in that video, so I will post the link down below if you haven't watched it already. So I'm just finishing off the, the watercolor part of the drawings that I did for the Hobonichi challenge and I think that's all they do for this round uh, for my journal with me. love to know what uh, you are using, like if you're using a Hobonichi Checho, I would love to know what you are using your planner for. Um, I mean it doesn't have to be a Hobonichi Checho of course but I would love to know yeah, what you're using your planner for. Do you use it strictly for planning? Do you use it for journal uh, for journaling like I am. Um, sometimes I use my notebooks for junk journaling as well. I really really miss junk journaling. Right now I just haven't had the time to uh, work in my junk journals and I'm really really missing that aspect. Um, I used to do it like almost on a daily basis and I just haven't had the time to do so. And um, yeah so yeah please leave a comment down below letting me know how you are currently using your planners or your notebooks or your journals i think that's about it i'm just finishing off the drawings the hobonichi challenge drawings with just some outline i'm using the sakura micron i believe it is in the 03 or 02 i usually like to um, use a more broader point for the outlines and just adding a bit of the, I don't know what you call this, like the, I don't want to say it's hat, hatching, I don't think it's hatching, but just these lines that I like to add on my lettering uh, recently. So anyways, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this journal with me ses session and I will see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.